Hi everyone, Sumit coming at you with another video here. This is going to be a very quick video, a little bit might get a little controversial, but I'm going to go ahead and do it and say it anyways. Whether you are trying to tackle a DIY ceramic coating by yourself, or you are already a detailer and you offer all other services, but you don't offer ceramic coating yet. Uh, my first tip to you is don't be scared. Go ahead and give it a try and uh, you'll get some practice and you'll get it. Do not be afraid. That's the first tip. Do not be intimidated by all the stuff that you see online, all the YouTube videos that you see. There are a few very, very important steps in the process that I'll walk you through. But again, do not, do not be afraid. Go ahead and give it a try. Now, again, first rule, rule number one, preparation is absolutely key. This car came to me. Uh, this is, by the way, a beautiful, beautiful uh, GMC Sierra. Uh, a beautiful paint. You can see it's this midnight metallic blue paint. It did not look like this when it came to me, so I gave it a wash. Again, I work, for some of you who know me, I live in Minnesota. I work in extreme cold, harsh winter conditions. For me to be outside and giving this a pressure wash right now was not an option. So I washed it here. I did a rinseless wash, believe it or not, in my garage using our luxury microfiber rinseless wash called Revive. For those who have not seen it, this is what it looks like. This formula is, is very, very different in the sense that it has immense cleaning power compared to some of the extra, uh, <clears throat> some of the other similar rinseless washes that I've seen on the market. When this car came to me, it was dirty. Uh, it was really, really dirty. Very similar to something like this, right? Now, if you wash something like this with a car that's not protected underneath, you have very high chance of marring the paint, scratching the paint and doing, leaving some swirl marks on it. In this case, what I did is I did a rinseless wash and then I did a two-step polish, right? So the first step of the polish was to go ahead and remove any light swirls, scratches, that kind of fun stuff. So. In this particular case, this is the driver's door and there was a scratch right here about, I wanna say about 12 to 14 inches, maybe 16 inches, pretty deep, but it was again on top of the clear. So we were able to get rid of that completely. So what did I do to uh, polish this car? So first and foremost, I used Just Car Correcting Compound and then I gave it a shine with Carpro Essence. And once I did that, I put the first coat down of our ceramic coating, which is Shield Pro, right? So that's the first thing. And that's where this car is at right now. One coat of Shield Pro is on and it already looks like that. So the first coat is curing. While this is curing, I am going to go ahead and give you tip number two or rule number two of doing a ceramic coating on a car, something like this, right? So any ceramic coating that you buy would typically come with foam applicator pads, some suede pads like this. And that's a good option to try and do ceramic coating. I've used that multiple times on multiple occasions, but when you're dealing with something this large, you're gonna be there for a very, very long time if you use a small foam black and an applicator pad. So go ahead, grab yourself one of these guys. I like this because, you know, you can hold it, you can squeeze it, you can get into the nooks and crannies here, which this car has lots of, and you can apply it. The only risk of doing something like this is you actually end up using a little bit more product but you end up saving a lot of time. So do yourself that favor, watch it flash, obviously work in sections, don't go about doing half the car and then come back trying to level it off, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna create all kinds of problems for yourself. So use a foam applicator block or something that you're familiar with and that should get your job done. Rule number three, work clean, all right? Work clean, I cannot emphasize that enough. So I've used, 
two kinds of towels here. I've used our luxury microfiber, uh, the mule towel, and I've used a couple of the jack towels. And I've used probably about 23 to 24 towels already on this car between the rinseless wash, the two-step polish, and the coating, leveling, and buffing. Okay, do not skimp on the towels. If you do that, you're gonna come back and it's gonna be extra effort on your part, extra time to get it clean. It's not gonna look nice. You're gonna have to keep going back and looking at those spots where you either missed something or you had some excessive oils left over or some chemical residue left over on a towel that you kept using again and again. Work clean and you will get amazing, amazing results. Next rule. I used one coating, Shield Pro, right? One coating to coat the paint, the plastics, the trim, the glass, and the wheels, all right? Now, I'm not suggesting you should do that with any other coating that you buy. There are subtle differences between other manufacturers and the coatings they sell between dedicated glass coatings, plastic trim coating, wheel coating, and paint coating. We have engineered our product, Shield Pro, to work on every surface of the car. It saves you money in the long run, right? You don't have little small bottles left over with little, little product, and you don't end up spending a ton of money buying little, little dedicated products. There is no reason why you can't do that in most cases. now. Please follow whatever the manufacturer recommends. But in our case, in terms of luxury microfiber, the coating that we make, Shield Pro, is made such that you can apply it to any part of the car and you will be absolutely fine. All right? So these are a couple of tips I thought I'll just share with you all. And there you have my detailing buddy with one of my wash mitts. So I'll have to rewash that again. But uh, for now, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.